Assalamu alaikum and let me wish every parent a very happy summer vacation. It gives me immense pleasure now as we close term one during this academic year to thank every one of you, especially our students, our staff and our parents and the management. Of course, we are very much grateful to Sharjah Private Education Authority and the Ministry of Education who keep guiding us in every step of the way. As you know, this term has been very hectic and very fruitful rather because 100% our students have come back to the school and that's a joy for us to see the energy, the exuberance and their contribution on the corridors, in the classroom, on the fields. So we thank all parents for trusting and sending every child to the school and keeping in us and with us the confidence that we can achieve and help our students to progress in every day their life. We are also thankful to SPIA for conducting a school improvement review for guiding the schools. We do thank our staff who have collaborated and delivered good lessons. We thank our parents for their contribution and for their interactions with the SPIA officials as well as our students who interacted with the review committee members. We await their results officially. However, we are certain that we have proved ourselves to be good and very good in most of the areas. And we thank every stakeholder for helping us to improve our school. Well, as we start our vacations now, I know it's going to be a challenging task for some of the parents to keep children at home and to keep them engaged specially. In my previous deliberations, I discussed about developing thinking skills. Now this time, I keep continuing on the same series. And this time, I will highlight few of the strategies to develop problem-solving skills. Now we know in regular life, we face so many challenges. Every day we encounter with so many issues, so many problems. But every problem always has a solution. That is what math teaches us in life. And here we can. Simple technique is to brainstorm. Whenever there is a problem, especially you pose it to your child and ask them to think and give various options. So my advice to you is rather than giving a straightforward answer to the child, help them to think, help them to come with various options. Help them to think alternative methods of solving it that keeps developing in them and automatically they become problem solvers and critical thinkers. The other way of looking at is give them stories. There are many series I can cite. For example, we have a series called The Curious George written by Margaret and Ray. There are series of stories so you provide them those books. You can digitally access them or even physically you can get them and help your children read. Every story has different problems and different endings to it. Similarly, the simple story, The Ladybug. Uh, we have the story Ladybug Girl and Blumby Boy by Jack Davis. So every story has a plot, a setting and an end. But it need not be the end. You can again twist the story, which we do, and our children know pretty well to give different endings to the open-ended stories that we give them. Keep them also busy with open-ended questions. Don't ask them straightforward answers, yes or no. Give them, give me some more ideas. Help me to get you. Tell me more ways of doing things. You know, when you give such open-ended questions, Children come up with a lot of creative ideas and they find solutions to their own problems. As we go through the term, we also realized that we need to teach our children the emotions. It is also part of problem solving because sometimes we think that certain students have challenges with managing emotions. But we tell you there is no bad emotion. They have to understand 
that every negative emotion, for example, like anger, sadness, frustration, also teaches lot of lessons. It all depends how we respond. And the best way is naming every emotion. So whenever your child expresses any emotion, calm them down and ask them, what is that emotion? Can they specify? Can they identify that particular emotion? And if the emotion is correct, you can validate them. And then give them the options. What are the different ways of overcoming that particular emotion? Be it anger, for example. What are the different ways of expressing it? And what are the different ways of expressing it in a soft manner? So when we give them these different choices and options, I am certain that children will be able to handle their emotions pretty well. Well, the other strategies that you can adopt to develop problem solving is again giving them prompts. Instead of giving answers, you give them different prompts, different cues, different means and they interpret or they choose from those prompts and they will give you more solutions. Similarly, other way that you can develop their problem solving skills, if you have time, I am certain you can spare some time on the weekends, play with them chess. Chess is a good problem solver because those situations are automatically created and children think differently to find a solution to every check that they get in the chess. Now for the higher grades, there is a strategy called SODAS. SODAS means S-O-D-A-S. -S. Very simple. S yes stands for situation. O stands for options, D stands for disadvantages, A stands for advantages and then S is for solution. So any problem that comes, put the sodas in front of them. What is the actual situation? What are the different options? What would be the disadvantages by choosing each option? What are the advantages by choosing the option? Then you make the final solution. So if we make them think in this SODAS application, they will definitely have different options. They also can make the right choices. Well, I will tell you another simple technique. Whenever you have a discussion in your houses, debate for it. Be it even for, a, for example, you want to take them for a movie. Ask them, okay, you may have two or three options. You ask them which movie is better. They can definitely review it online and then you debate. Don't argue with children but try to develop their debating skills because debating is always including with rational. So if you develop their rational for debates, automatically they become very good problem solvers in future life. And I am certain that our parents, our students will work together and this holiday becomes more enjoyable for them to see the kids grow in problem solving because the world today and for future needs more problem solvers than problematic people. So I am sure that our children are going to be the problem solvers with their critical thinking. So before we close the term, let me wish all my students happy holidays. I know you will enjoy it, you will rock. You will have a lot of memories when you come back to share with us. Equally parents, let me wish you all happy vacation. Spend family's time together. And let me wish my dearest staff happy holidays. In regards to all the family members. Enjoy your holidays. Hip hip hooray. Thank you.